In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a launch tower that refuels your rockets. Let's get into the build screen. So here we are in the build screen. We're going to want to, I guess, first make the rocket, which isn't that hard. We're going to just quickly build the most simplistic rocket you've ever seen because it's not about the rocket. It's about the tower. And then we'll toss an engine in. That's pretty good. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to take all the fuel out of the rocket. We don't need it. And I'll explain to you why. We head over to structural and we're going to grab this piece right here. And this is actually our tower base. Now you might notice it's kind of big for our little tiny rocket. So we're actually just going to shrink the width down and make it a little bit more manageable. Let's say four meters, four meters will fit. No, not really. Okay. Then we're going to move the rocket over a bit because we're going to want to actually make more sections of this tower. But obviously we don't need the bottom truss on the bottom and we'll leave the center support column in for right now. And we'll go to about right here and I'm just going to drop the fuel lines to two. And then the last one up here, we're going to get rid of the support column. We don't need it. And we're going to get down to one fuel line left. And there we go. Now we're going to head over to the utility screen and we're going to grab this guy here. This is the umbilical cord. And basically what this does is it attaches the tower to the rocket. And we're going to move it over slightly. There we go. And we're going to put an umbilical cord. Kind of doesn't really matter where, but we're going to fill each tank, although we could do this all at once. That looks pretty good. And then we're going to realize that we can't actually eject the rocket because we forgot the top part. So we're just going to quickly fix that. Shh. Totally, totally know what I'm doing when I'm building rockets. Really, I do. And that concludes our tower. So we have no fuel in the rocket and we have this lovely support tower. So we're going to launch this. And what we're going to see here is the tower fuel reserve is going to increase. And as it gets to a certain point, the rocket itself will actually start to get fueled. And this is dependent on how much fuel is actually in the tower itself, because it's actually fueling the tower from this little fuel box here at the bottom. And that will fuel through the fuel lines to all the rockets. And then at, once the tower is filled, it'll actually start venting out some of the uh, excess fuel in a cool smoke pattern and the rest of the rocket will be fueled up. Now we want to launch this. Now we want to launch this rocket, but make it look cool. So we're going to collect all three umbilicals and the engine at the same time. And then we're going to go four, three, two, one. 